for doing random instrument challenge with me. Oh, thanks for having me. Man. I appreciate was, it, buddy. That was an experience I'll never forget. Uh, for sure. Before uh, before we talk about anything, I, I wanted to uh, ask you about this because I heard about this thing that a Alec Baldwin. Yeah. He asked you how to stay. How do you stay in shape? So he does 100 push-ups and 100 sit-ups a day. Yeah. Uh, now that have you heard that? And this is it true that you do 100 push-ups and sit-ups? No. So I was I was on set and Alec was hosting and it was a sketch where I had to be shirtless and like, you know, I I, I guess like I'm I, I'm a little bit cut or whatever. So he came up. Uh, there's no like nice way to say that. <laughs> okay. I've never said that. Yeah. <laughs> so he came up to me and he was like, "What do you do?" And. <laughs> I, and I didn't want to be rude and say, like, I just still have metabolism. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not in my mid-50s. <laughs> I just wake up like this. So, I, I, to make him feel better, I was like, oh, man, I do 100 push-ups and 100 sit-ups every day. And he was like, got it. <laughs> and then... And then he got uh, the, the Trump gig, and so I would see him every week, and every time we would run into the hall, he'd be like, 100 a day. <laughs> yeah. like, and he started to do it, and he lost like 100 pounds. Yeah, he looks fantastic. Yeah, he's, and it says it's all because of me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that is my favorite, dude. <laughs> uh, I, I wanted to hear about that story. Um, yeah. uh, I want your opinion on this. This is a very local story, but it's a big yeah. story. New York City uh, is now legal. They're legalizing weed. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about that? Any thoughts? And what? <laughs> I think you can see it in my eyes. <laughs> How happy I am! Uh, I, think, I think it's 12 years too late for me and my police record. But other than that, <laughs> I, I think it's a great thing. I think, like you know, finally. Uh, it's, it's a cool thing for the city. Yeah. Yeah. Will anything change for you? Well, you're a giant pothead. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, I'm just well, getting the contact. Yeah. I'm feeling something right now. But, but I, I, I just I find it interesting. I don't know how much will change, I guess. But... No, for me, nothing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it, it is like, it's a great thing for, you know, I think for the city. So I'm excited. All right, good. Uh, how's everything going upstairs on Saturday Night Live? Everything's great. We got uh, Carrie Mulligan and Kid Cudi this week, which is awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you've had a great season. You have a lot of good things uh, happen I, I want to talk to you about. But earlier uh, this year on SNL, you had a great sketch. This is you and Timothy Chalamet with our very own Questlove in a sketch. Yeah. That was a big deal. Uh, this is one of the most viral videos to come from SNL this season. Uh, congrats on that. Thank you. Uh, what was it like acting with Questlove? Oh, dude, total pro. It, yeah. Wow. Also, yeah. It's also like really cool when someone who like knows the show and watches the show and it, like is involved with it. Yeah. Uh, and it was just so fun to work with him. And he got to hit me, which was cool. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that part. Yeah. yeah. That... I asked him if he would really hit me, and he, he said told no. Me to hit him for real. Yeah. No. <laughs> He's like, I don't feel it. Hit me for real. Yeah. <laughs> I, you I thought can't... it would be cool for the sketch. You can't have Questlove hit you on national television? Yeah, but like you, I don't know, you can usually tell when it's a fake hit. I wanted them to hey, punch the face. Hey, can I get a, can I get a go? Hey! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude, 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 <laughs> come on. <laughs> it would be an honor. <laughs> uh, I, I, you have uh, a cool projects coming up I gotta talk about, because I'm excited about this. Uh, the Suicide Squad. Yes. The trailer came out and it broke a record for like the most, like 150 million people saw this trailer. Uh, and here's my man right here from the trailer. Yeah. Pete That's Davidson. Right. Come on now. That's your boy. Come on now. That's your boy. Come on now. Yeah. You play the character uh, Blackguard. Yeah. Uh, did you know anything about this character going in or how did you get involved with the movie? I love. Uh, you know, superhero movies, and I'm a huge James Gunn fan, and uh, yeah. I got a call from James Gunn. He was like, there's this role for you in the movie, uh, and you play a guy named Richard Hertz. And I was like, Dick Hertz? I'm in. Uh, I didn't even... Yeah, that's his real name. My character's name is Dick Hertz. Yeah, there you go, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and I was like, dude, that's the greatest. That's so awesome. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, he, he just, uh, he was nice enough to let me be in it. And, like, I, 
I, it's a thing I still can't believe. It's like ridiculous. Like, how does it feel when that thing comes out? Because the world globally saw that thing and yeah. they're all loving it and so excited. Well, my family and friends, like, it was the first time they ever got, like, super excited for anything I've ever done. And I was like, <laughs> thanks, I just put a movie out in June. I, yeah. In the, yeah. That was about... That was about me and the family. <laughs> <laughs> they, they didn't care about that one, they yeah. want to see this one. Yeah, but they were like, Suicide Squad, the two seconds, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two seconds in the trailer, bro. That's oh, it. dude, congrats. Yeah. And I, I, I just want to say, I don't know if I told you, but King of Staten Island... You crushed it, dude. Oh, thank you. It was you. great, and there was some scenes where, yeah, and you're you. funny in the whole thank thing. Thank you very and much. And it's funny. Thank you. There's a couple scenes I'm like, go, go, Pete, go, man. It was awesome. It was really great. I'm so happy for you. And uh, I got to talk about the Audible original, too, the uh, hit job right here. Yes. Uh, explain this to people. What is this, uh, what is an Audible podcast? So, it's an Audible original, so it's like a movie or a TV show for your ears. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the person from Audible backstage is like sweating right now. Yeah, they got um, <laughs> so it's it's pretty much just a show with Kiki Palmer, as you can see. Yeah. And uh, she gets a job at a company that hires uh, hitmen to kill the most the world's most dangerous men. And you know it's fun and, and it's dark and like it's it's funny. Yeah, it's really funny. And uh, I mean, if you're in it, it's, it's funny. It's funny, and you don't have to see my face, which I heard is a lot of people's problem with me. No, so, what are you talking? No, no. So, so you get to just listen, and uh, it's really great. And it comes out August, uh, oh. August, no, April 22nd. <laughs> yes, I'm almost done. Uh, That's good. Yeah, and it is, yeah, there's 12 episodes. We just love having you. Pete Davidson, everybody. Hey,